You need to step in, step up, and take charge. Find out this week's episode, C9 Life Weekly. Some days you might take a leap forward, other days you might move a centimeter. It doesn't matter, every day is a step forward towards your goals. What are you doing every single day towards your goals? That's what will bring you success. Nothing like ruining my Monday morning. Find out she's off all day. <laughs> <sighs> Arm's still attached. I'm still alive. Doing all right. Great, awesome, fantastic. Okay, I'm cooking breakfast. Waffles and eggs. So he's going to be phone calls, office time, emails, all kinds of busy stuff going on today. Let's get after it. It is 1041 and I'm ecstatic I didn't talk to you guys all day. The dogs have been sleeping in here with us. Hannah just wanted to take a shower because we're about to go to bed soon. But I got all of the stuff done that I need to. We got so many groceries and got my rack cards. And like I said, they just look freaking, freaking, flicking, bricking up phenomenal. So ecstatic with it. It's actually better without having my brace on while I'm sitting here. Actually, the brace on puts more tension and torque on it. And just hold it here real quick. But. Remember how I had to redo uh, for Aaron Bailey? I had to get my proposal completely rewrote. What do you figure would be a better structure? So get that completely rewrote and figure out my pricing structure and get all that done so he can put all his terms, conditions, and everything else in. It's finally done. Let's show you. Okay, I'm actually gonna do the other one first. My revised proposal. Maybe do a little, little zoom. There you go. Didn't have to do much to the first page. Not fine, but this was what I redid the whole solution. Got that whole thing done and set. I'm so ecstatic about it. It's phenomenal. It looks great. And then I got my contract of services. Figured out my pricing structure and got everything done in there and out. Oh, yeah. Sorry, that's a little wobbly. Wow. That's so, so in your face. Which way? Wrong way. So in your face from using my cripple arm that I can only use right here from my elbow down. But, got it. So I'm so excited. I'm going to get those emailed over to Aaron today, tonight. See, so he'll get them tomorrow and hopefully be able to work on them and get them done hopefully this week. And I can get the contracts and stuff made. Awesome, but we have to talk over things. So I'm going to get that stuff sent out. So awesome to get that done. It's been... Man, probably four, five, more like six or seven hours and in here working on this, getting it all done. But it is that underside of the iceberg that you see that I'm trying to teach you guys and show you guys. The underside here is what matters. The underside of the iceberg is what supports and is the foundation of the tip that you see, just like with success and everybody else. And you'll see what I grew on top of this. But you guys, I'm really showing you guys the nitty gritty back woods behind the scenes under the rug stuff that goes on so that's it but I got my seven day tomorrow's Tuesday last Thursday, last Tuesday was my surgery so tomorrow is my seven day follow-up so I get to go see them tomorrow 9 45 in the morning so it'd be good it'd be great if they took my stitches out so I'm not gonna shower tonight I'm gonna see if they will take the stitches out and I can shower without it if not I'll shower tomorrow night I mean, it can help me put on the bandages, and it's good. I haven't had bandages on it for, geez, two days now. It hasn't been really itching or bugging me with just having the shirt on it, so it's great to have them out airing and cleaning and drying. So, kick ass. This is it. It's it for today. It was a good kick ass day. I'm so glad I got everything done, got all this stuff done, racked my brain. It was a lot easier just when I sat down and got focused on it than I made it out to be. Sometimes in your head, sometimes you just need to buck up, man up, woman up, sit down, shut up, figure it out, and get it done. We're good now. Night. Talk about some kick-ass perfect timing. It's 9.15, and i got to leave at 9.30 for my consultation. Follow-up of my surgery from a week ago. So hopefully stitches come out today. And hoping for it. It'll be awesome and great. Let's just check everything up. Takes like 15 minutes, not even that. Great, awesome, fun. 
Hopefully they take stitches out and I can shower, I can shower by myself and get rid of the stinkiness. As you see, like I don't shower if you see me in the same hoodie. Ugh. But I already got a phone call from my insurance agent giving me from the stuff from the underwriters that we wanted to discuss and go over like $400 a year for $2 million coverage annually. Good, great, awesome in the beginning. I have some other questions to see if we can bump it up, whatever over time, so I'm happy with that. <clears throat> the lawyer contacted me this morning, email saying he got everything, he's going to start reviewing it, hopefully he'll be good in the next, you know, two, three days, so that'd be great. Awesome, I need to contact him again to part today, see if I need to, uh, there's something else I need to start on, but I got other things I can start rocking and rolling and get going, so I'm excited, excited, I'm great, I'm happy, glad the shoulders moving, things moving slow, everything is moving along and everything's moving with the business. <sighs> Smooth sailing. It's rough seas, but hey, smooth waters never made a skilled sailor, so I just make it look good, make it look easy. Even though you might be stressed out and freaking out on the inside, just stay cool, calm, and collected. You'll figure it out. You'll get it done. There ain't no rush. Take your time. Do it once. Do it right. Well, that was a wham bam. Thank you, ma'am done simple in out checked it say looking good great awesome um went over the pictures for my surgery just kind of went over everything that actually what the pictures were good great awesome took stitches out bam no more stitches i can shower do everything as normal just still need to wear the sling for like six weeks Ugh. that's kind of the not fun part so oh well but he said when i'm sitting still and just hanging out i don't have to wear it as long as i'm not doing too much the problem is the stuff doesn't hurt as bad as like rotator cuff surgeries and everything so that's where you can end up doing too much and hurting something so my stubborn self shall remember that and not do too much with it when it's off or with it on or in general right i made chili today i showered today haven't worn my brakes all day only because i've only been doing stuff in the office but look at me I'm just becoming an independent man now. And you know what else I did all day? It's 11 o'clock at night, by the way. You know what I did it all day long? Check it out. That's right, got the website done, up, and on, awesome. My free trial ended yesterday, so today I had to buy the $15 a month, so $180 a year. So I paid that for yearly to subscribe to it. Got it all done, built, awesome, phenomenal. Took me probably, oh, I worked on it, what, probably two or three hours before previously, and then today I probably worked on it. It's 11 o'clock now, so yeah, I worked on it, man. Probably a solid six hours or so, if not longer, but it's done and it comes up great on the phone as well. So we will click here and whoop, shows up great. Sorry, a little awkward because I only have my old TRX arm to hold the camera there. Awesome, great. Hannah's working on her stuff. Dogs are just smucking around. And that's it for today. Phone calls and more meetings and stuff tomorrow. Follow up. Keep going. Dude, today. Today has been... Whew. I feel like I blink, and it was 6 o'clock. Blinked, and now it's 11.17. But I've gotten so much shit done. I did a lot of stuff with taxes. I got a lot of stuff figured out with my online QuickBooks that I didn't know what to do or how to do or that I just haven't got to really nitty-gritty play with it. So I got all that done. It was great. Um, Aaron Bailey called my attorney. My attorney called me. We had a good 50, like, five-minute conversation. Sorry. Getting to swap it over. Oh, so I'm sending him what we kind of redrift and 
talked about, my draft, and I sent him this big long follow-up message as well. So that is done. That can get sent out to him. Okay, yes, I know that's open. And then bam, I redid, added the couple things that we wanted to for my contract. I got this stuff kind of figured out and to do, and he's going to, he doesn't need any openings up top to put anything. He said he's going to be able to get everything on the very back side of the paper, so he's going to start cracking and working on it. We got stuff figured out about the contracts, things I got figured out with the um, insurance, and just the 55 minutes of great nitty gritty down to the point questions and getting stuff figured out. and. You know, he put a lot of things into better perspective. And there's things that, you know, he probably gets annoyed with me, which is great and fine if anybody ever does. But I'm, I'm getting the stuff figured out and learning. And, like, the things that I made changes here, like, I learn as I go. Literally five, seven years that I've dealt with Aaron Bailey, my attorney, and spent a lot of money with him. But I've learned and picked up the things so that the least times that he has to do drafts and reviews and changing stuff is the less money I have to spend, the less money he's going to charge me. So when I learn all this stuff along the way, and I know how to like apply it and add certain things, he was like, dude, that's really good. I'm glad you added that. Or, you know, he's like, that's pretty good. I don't really have to change much about it. It's less time, less money. I mean, you've already spent the money, learned the lesson, keep it in there for later on. So when I use it and I can do it, it's less time. It just gets stuff done quicker. I'm not fucking around, and he's not making as much money, which is a lot better for me in my pocketbook. So much done. It's time to go to bed. It's time to crash. No win, win, Wednesday today. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Get it up tomorrow. And I got to keep getting taxes done. I mean, my taxes take like a week of just getting everything together and compiled and figured out, if not longer. So I need to be getting that stuff done because that shit's coming up. <sighs> Kick-ass day, though. So happy and so excited to be getting all this stuff done and falling into place. And it's time to really start implementing and kicking ass. And you're going to watch me take off like a rocket. Hello, Thursday. Bam, got off the phone again. Sent emails last night. You know all this stuff. It's great. It's awesome. Ed Bozarth called, said that my tag is in because they register and tag, get my license plate. You know, and they tag my vehicle for the first year. So it's great. So I don't have to go into that vehicle annex and do all that. I can just, next year when it just comes due, I just pay it online. It's great. It's like $687. Literally all five of my vehicles together are like, well, even with my 2013 train that I had before this one, it was like 700 bucks. So just one vehicle being brand new is 700. That's why I tell people, you get a new vehicle, you're gonna pay like $700 a year in property taxes. But when I had five vehicles and the newest one being a 2013, I was paying like $700 a year for all five. Just something to think about. And, um, just my ranting about having an older vehicle, but now like this seven hundred dollars is one hundred percent tax write offable, and my lease payment is so I, we've talked about all this. So I don't need to talk to you guys, so I'm gonna go pop over there, do that. It's already noon thirty, noon thirty. So I'm gonna pop over there, do that, pay that, get that. I'm gonna get come back here, more tax stuff, get that rest organized. I did shower this morning, feel so much better, awesome, great. So nice that I'm having a little more movement I can use in my arm. Not doing too much, so don't worry. Yeah, kick ass. So getting so much stuff done and taxes is... I mean, heck, you can see me. This is not even maybe half. This is just stuff that I've had through the year. And it's already like a half inch, if not three quarters of an inch thick. Might even be an inch. But I got more to do. I got to print out a lot more stuff and go through, organize, compile data. So it's not going to be another fun day. This, this whole thing's not. So this is just probably going to be tax week and you're not going to get much excitement. But it's the necessary evil. Hannah has like four papers to do her taxes. I have like two inches of paperwork to go through. More streams of income, the more stress. The more things you have to do and track and figure out and compile and research and do. But hey, it's your taxes. You want more money back? Study taxes, learn taxes, it's not fun, but guess what? All these six, Ben Mala, the real estate mogul, and all these realist, you know, rich people and everything, they understand that stuff to some degree, other than having their accountants and their tax people. It's like, so why are you just wanting to do what's cool and what's easy? You want to do all that, but you're stacking paper, making your money? How about do the shit other people aren't doing, learn about taxes and 
you know, how you can save yourself money and get more money back. Like, that's what we need to be focusing on in 2020 is redistributing what's cool. Knowing your shit, knowing your finances, knowing your credit score, staying on top of all that, that's what's really cool. Life right here. Oh, look at you. Yeah. Look at me, Gimpy. Get my 443 Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Tag poo down. We're done. Only a nice $687.69. Don't forget the change. And the change is what we need. We'll be done. Brian Salt. Ed Bozart, get out. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I did it. I'm done. It's midnight on the dot. And accomplished everything that I wanted to. Tax-wise, got so much crap done. I got so many receipts and everything done. I pretty much, I filled up my whole trash can with all of my receipts that I had saved. It's literally a whole Walmart sack full of trash of all rule sheets because now they're all itemized within my QuickBooks app and my log here. So, oh, it's just phenomenal with all of my transactions and everything and taxes. We can just go through have a schedule C all printed out so I have like everything itemized for what it is so awesome and I have everything in here like tax wise it's like everything in my need fitness documents self-employed I have my all my taxes and everything from 2018 2019 have all my mileage report I have my um, schedule C transactions just my transactions all that and it's all printed out so now my folder is so thin like bam, got so much crap done. I'm so excited about all that. The QuickBooks saves my ass. Saves so much time and energy and effort. The reason it just took so long, especially this year, was because it was half and half. So I had to go back through and do it. But now that I have everything linked and I'm getting everything set up just to be coming off and it can auto auto file when it uh, auto categorizes when it comes, you know, in like from bank statements and charges and stuff like that. So poof make life so much easier, make life so much quicker. QuickBooks, right? Great. Duchess and Boomer have been passed out. Hannah just left like 10 minutes to go to go to bed, so I think it's about time for me to crash. I'm so happy I got all this done. <sighs> Didn't get as much done as I wanted today, but that's why it's midnight now and and I don't go to bed until I'm satisfied with my productivity levels for the day. Now that I got everything done that I need to and categorized, I mean, there was things I didn't want to do. I didn't want to do this stuff and constantly put all these receipts in manually and everything. It took me just two hours. But hey, it's done. Don't put off till tomorrow, but you can do today. It's Frisky Friday and I got stuff to do. Taxes, bam, already called the real estate this morning. Agent, she got me all of my documents. They were, I never printed them off of my DocuSign because I was so busy when I was doing all that. So I got that uh, emailed over to me, so I got that in. We're actually just going to be able to scan some things in to send them over to mom to do that, taxes, and just a couple phone calls after I did last night with all the paperwork. And QuickBooks makes it so easy, so great, awesome. And I was able to just, instead of scanning something, and I was able to just flip it over to her in a PDF. Great, awesome, fine. Now I'm going to run to, okay, here's the other thing. I was looking up interest rates last night because I couldn't sleep. And then this morning, so I have just a random amount of money sitting over at just one bank, just for shits and giggles at a different bank. And it's just at a, you know, a savings account, like, you know, 0.2% return. So I'm like, shit, it's just it's sitting there. It needs to make me money. So I started looking around and found a Invista has a 2%, 2% annually, annual yield but a 1.98% um, and a CD, and a 15 month bump CD. If you don't know what that stuff is, comment below, ask and I'll explain it, or look it up, either way. 
So I'm going to go pop out the money and close that account at Azura. And plus, I can't, with my mobile banking, if I don't log in for so long at my, just to check the random money I just have laying over there, I can't pull it up on my accounts. It's like a security thing, which is just annoying. It sucks. So I don't want any more. I'm done with it. I'm done dealing with them. So I'm going to pop that over to Azura, and that can be making me 2% every quarter. Well, 2% annually. Broke down into my monthly or quarterly dividends. So let's go do that. Man, it is already 12, 12. I've been running around some more banks and everything, but great. Had to, so I decided to Denison State Bank, where I have uh, like a thousand dollar CD I opened up a couple years ago. It's only 1.49, so I'm like, hey, I'll go close that bad boy out and throw that in with the extra money that I was gonna throw in the one that's doing at Invista for 1.98%. So I'm like, so I ran over there, but I was like, I need my CD paperwork to close. So Vanessa's like, hey, just get it to me the beginning of next week at least. I'm like, I'll do it today. So I ran there, got that closed out, got that check, ran over to Azura, got that account closed out, got that check, ran to Invista, got signed up there, talked to this awesome lady that's there, and ended up giving her a rat card and a business card because she was I was talking about my businesses and my corporate fitness. She's like, that'd be awesome. That'd be she's like, that'd be great because they're building a new uh, mortgage building. She's like, it'd be great, you know, if they you could get them to put a gym in you on the side, you know, maybe staff it. And I told her all these other things. She's like, wow, that's just awesome. So I was like, hey, whatever people talk about having on-site trainers and stuff like that, I do something completely way different that's actually relevant to that. She's like, that's awesome. So she asked if I had some stuff to give. So she gave that. She's going to give that to her marketing department. Got that done. Came home to grab my, uh, my CD. I couldn't find it. I knew it was in my gun safe. So finally, I pulled all the folders out and I found it in my investment folder that I've had, but it was just stuck together with something else. So I found that. And then, so I have my CD, keep the clothes. So I got to take that. Got to go back to Denison right now to take that to Vanessa so she can feel it. She wasn't supposed to do it without having the actual paperwork, but she let it because I only live close and I'll be back. And then I have in here, I have uh, bonds, paper bonds that my parents got, you know, when I was younger as a kid. But, uh, a lot of them are like, some are, 20, some are 20 years, some are 30 years, but I have two of them that are 20 years that it went August of last year. So I'm going to cash those out and just throw those into my IRA for my retirement. So I'll get a tax break on that. And then uh, the other ones are until like 2031 to 2035. So done great, good, awesome. Hannah was up with the dogs and she uh, took Boomer and Duchess on a walk. So they're out walking somewhere around the block or whatever. I mean, it's like a three mile block, but... I'm going to run back to Dennis State Bank, get all that done, those two bonds cashed in and done and thrown in the IRA, get that CD officially closed out, and Vista got all that money transferred over there at 1.9% interest. Bam! That's what you need to do. 1.98%, 1.985% APR, 2% annual yield. If you don't know what this shit is, you need to learn it. It's how you make your money work for you, and it's not on a big scale, it's just on a small scale. If it's going to be sitting around, I mean, make it do something for you. Don't have it just be a bump on a log. Something is better than nothing. About to lose my mind on paperwork, but it's good because I'm about done. After everything got done, great. Everything went smooth. Got that stuff transferred over. Got to wait for a call because I'm going to distribute those uh paper bonds into my uh, IRA, so contribution. I'm going to do it for last year because until April 15th of this year, you can always, you know, add to last year as a contribution. So whatever else. So going through all my taxes to get some rental house things. Got that all situated and done. I need to go to all the vehicles, get all the property taxes for all of them for last year. And then... Um, I scanned, oh, I did, I spent an hour scanning every single tax document I had in and sending all 16 PDFs to mom so she can get all that done, rocked, rolled, kicked ass. So great, just getting the last few things and I'll be done and good to go. Hannah's getting her hair done. I'm getting all this crap knocked out. Necessary evil. Get her done. Oof, it's been a day. Got so much stuff done, got all the taxes done and called. And set up with my um, for my transaxle. Called him. He was like, "Dude, I'm gonna have to start calling and being pissy. It's been still not getting a phone call back, leaving voicemails and whatnot." So, dude, give me the number that you've been talking to. So I did that. Ended up talking to him. Ended up finding one of the owners and talking to him. So he ended up 
getting everything and I was like, dude, call my mechanic. So he literally, I called, gave him the number. I called my mechanic back and he was like, actually, hey, he's calling me right now. Cool, let me know. So they went through, 20 minutes later, he called me back. They went through everything, what he needed for parts and all that. And he gave him the address there. He's like, so the mechanic called me back, said, hey, all we need you to do is call back to the uh, owner, you know, to Weddle and he'll um, process everything you need. He'll just, you pay him and he'll ship everything to me and I'll put it all assembled at that and we'll be done and good. Awesome, great. So I called him, did that, got it all done. It was like $701 for all the parts and everything. Great. But they, uh, then after a little while, I was like, got the invoice. I'm like, shit. It's like, hey, do I need, um, I need that uh, clutch still. So I called my mechanic. He's like, yeah, dude, I completely forgot about that clutch disc. So I called the guy back, told him what clutch I needed and the flight discs and everything. So he got another one coming. That's another 138. So we're up to like 850. <sighs> then I forgot to tell him about my the clutch aligner. So I messaged him back a little while ago. They're already done for the day. So I'm like, hey, we'll see what he says this weekend. But I had to do that. So I mean, this is all about taking control and taking charge of shit. You know, I've been waiting around for that and he's just lollygagging kind of waiting on here and there. No, it's priority to me. So literally after a month and a half of him trying to figure shit out, what he's going to do and how he's going to get it together, I make a phone call and within five minutes I have him calling here and 15 minutes later, parts and everything are done and ordered and great. Sometimes you just need to step in, step up and take control. Just like I did with my finances, like I'm doing with that, moving money around. Instead of getting in the teens amount of dollars a year from just money that's just sitting around, I'll get like a hundred dollars over that. It'd be like a hundred and twenty-two for the money that I moved around for just sitting. Take control, take charge. There's so much more out there. There's so many different ways to make money and have things work for you, and it's just simple. It's the simple things are what a lot of you are missing.